Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning. Two I'll just Travis Klineski here on this Tuesday morning. Today, the calm before the storm, as we have got a lot of uh, activity headed our way in about 24 hours. So, a lot of cloud cover out there this morning. There is even a little fog on the uh, edge of the clouds right in here. And then some clearing to the southwest. Most of us, though, are under cloudy skies this morning, and it will be a mostly cloudy day. Best chance of more sunshine is going to end up being in eastern portions of the area. The winds, not too bad today. Maybe a little breezy here towards southwest Nebraska and northwest Kansas. Speaking of those areas, this evening, snow begins to move in before midnight right in here to the southwest. Most of us, though, it'll be a quiet evening. But then after midnight, that snow will then spread northeastward into more and more of the area. So now we're talking about quite a bit more snow out there. Southeastern areas, draw a line from about Lincoln to Hastings to Alma, maybe? Southeastward, and there could be a mix of sleet or even freezing rain. Now, one thing I will tell you, this is our in-house forecast model. It has trended farther southeastward. In fact, all models have trended a little farther southeast since yesterday morning. But this one's probably the one that's trended the farthest southeast. So I do still think that some freezing rain is going to be possible, again, from about Hastings southeastward during the day tomorrow. Let's play this out here during the day tomorrow. As you can see, we are talking about snow becoming heavy at times. And the other issue is we're going to see some convective activity, which basically means lightning and thunder. When you get lightning and thunder, that sometimes increases the rate of snowfall. So we could be talking about one to two inches per hour in some places, maybe even more than that. So this snow is going to be falling pretty heavy. Now what we won't be seeing, we won't be seeing blizzard conditions. The winds won't be up there that strong, but they will be fairly blustery out of the northeast. We're talking 15 to 25 mile per hour winds, some gusts 30 to maybe 35 miles per hour, enough that some blowing snow and some drifting is a possibility. So that means not only is the heavy snow going to make it difficult to see, blowing snow could make it that much more difficult. Again, southeastern area, sleet and freezing rain is a possibility right in here. For the Tri-Cities area specifically, the heaviest snow is going to fall late morning and early to mid-afternoon. There it is right there. You can see that's some of the heaviest snow right in there. Again, still some blowing snow. It begins to lighten up first in the northwest late in the day, but most of us will still see snow into the evening hours. Then as we get to midnight tomorrow night, now we're talking about snow lightening up towards a little more hit or miss, maybe still some light accumulation, but we're not looking at much additional accumulation after midnight. And then by 6 a.m. Thursday morning, most of the snow is done. Still going to be a little bit breezy as we head into your daytime hours of Thursday, but the snow will move on out of here. All right, there's a lot going on here. Let's first off talk about the advisories, the warnings that we have, the watches. So our winter weather alerts. Now, first off, no matter what the color, basically all of these areas right in here in the west, this starts at 6 o'clock tonight and will continue until midnight tomorrow night. That's a 30-hour period right there. The middle part of the area right in here. This will start at midnight tonight and continue until midnight tomorrow night, a 24-hour period. Eastern areas, right in here. This will start at 6 a.m. tomorrow and continue until 6 a.m. on Thursday morning. Now, the winter storm warning area is the area that's most likely to see four plus inches of snowfall, but there are going to be places that get a lot more than that. Winter storm watch areas in darker blue, right there to the northwest, and then eastern Nebraska, and then just south of the Tri-Cities. These are areas where maybe there's still a little bit of a question to how things will play out, so the National Weather Service has decided to wait just a little bit to upgrade to either a winter storm warning or a winter weather advisory. I think most of these counties right in here will eventually be put in pink. Not Maybe not all of them. The far southeast is the biggest question. The far, far southeast, a winter weather advisory. Not as much snowfall expected here and more of a mix, including that threat of icing. That could be a big problem. But again, a large part of the area, winter storm warnings are expected. I do not expect any blizzard warnings. We will not have reach blizzard criteria. The winds will not be strong enough for that. All right, forecast models have been kind of all over the place with the snowfall totals and where exactly the heaviest snow is. So you want to take these numbers with a grain of salt. I'll say that right now. This is not a set in stone kind of thing by any means. We are looking at a large variety in the numbers out there, but this gives us an idea of the trends. So some of the latest forecast models since yesterday have shifted the heaviest snow from what was looking like mostly north of Interstate 80 right in here. It shifted it just a little farther southeastward, but not all of them have. 
So right now it's looking like the heaviest snow is likely going to be right in here. I'm going with 6 to 12 inches of snow, but there are going to be isolated amounts up to 15 inches of snow. That said, there are some forecast models. Yes, there are more than one. There, there are a couple of different forecast models that are spitting out some totals as high as two feet of snow. For instance, the European forecast model has over two feet of snow in Lexington. The North American forecast model has over two feet of snow between O'Neill, Ainsworth, and Broken Bow. This is the model I agree with the most. This is not a for sure thing though, but I do think that right now the way things are trending, our highest totals will end up being right in here. So again, I'm probably playing it safe and going six to 12 inches, but I do think there are gonna be some isolated amounts that are higher than that. As you go farther southeast, there will be a sharp drop off in the totals somewhere in here. And that's where we switch over to more of that mix of precipitation. Yes, there could be some snow totals or snow accumulation, but before that there could be sleet and freezing rain. And speaking of freezing rain, icing is another concern there. In southeastern areas, especially near the Nebraska and Kansas border, that's where it's the biggest concern. Now again, draw a line from around Norton to Elma, Hastings to Lincoln, and then southeastward. We're talking about amounts that could be up to a quarter of an inch or more of ice in some cases. So very slick conditions expected here. All right, on to temperatures, which aren't as big of a deal these next couple of days, but we'll still show you them anyway. Highs later today, topping out in the 30s and some 40s. The 40s will mostly be to this east and southeast where there's going to be a little more sunshine. For most of us, this is probably the best day temperature-wise that we are going to see for a little while. Tonight, we'll drop back into the 20s, near 30 in the southeast, but most of us in the 20s for overnight lows. Highs tomorrow, not much warmer than the lows. Uh, we'll see mostly 20s, but some low 30s in the southeast, and again, any areas that get above freezing, that'll be nice because then the freezing rain threat's a little lower. But with those temperatures, 30, 31, 32 degrees, freezing rain is going to be an issue right in here. Tomorrow night, as the storm is winding down, we'll drop back into the upper teens and lower 20s for overnight lows. And then your highs on Thursday as we're digging out upper 20s, lower 30s, maybe some mid 30s. And that's a trend we're going to see for days to come as the temperatures are going to struggle a bit because of all the snow cover out there. We saw this over northwestern Nebraska, northern Nebraska the last several weeks. Well, now it's uh, the turn for much of the rest of the area. This is probably for the Tri-Cities the most significant snowstorm we've seen in a couple of years and will likely break the record for uh, snowfall amounts for January 18th when it's all said and done because the old records are pretty low, around two to five inches. So we're gonna probably break records in the Tri-Cities area. I'm again anticipating at least six to 10 inches and probably more. But again, here's that seven day forecast. Quiet today, but mostly cloudy. Not bad temperature wise. Here comes the snow late tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night. A little bit of a mix as possible, especially around Hastings. Maybe some sleet, maybe freezing rain, but mostly in the Tri City snow. Wrapping up by early Thursday morning. A couple of breezy days. Again, the blowing snow is a little bit of an issue. Not as breezy on Thursday, so I don't think we'll see too much blowing snow. Staying chilly all the way through the rest of the forecast. We'll keep an eye on late Friday into Friday night. A small chance of moisture there. I'm not very confident in it though right now. And then the next chance with a cold front will come late Sunday night into Monday. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that one down the road, but I'm not too concerned yet. It doesn't look as big of an issue as right here, but still we'll keep an eye on that as we get closer to it. But it also looks like it will drag a cold front through eventually. And so it does look like even colder temperatures will be on the way by the middle of next week. Highest in the 20s. So a lot of below average temperatures are expected once we get beyond today. So there you go. There is my forecast for today. I want to thank you all for watching on this Tuesday. Join me tomorrow as we'll be hitting the onset of the snowstorm. And get prepared now. You have about 18 hours or so to prepare. Get your uh, snow blowers ready to go. I need to do that myself. I haven't used it in a couple of years. Have the snow shovels ready. And for those in the southeast, maybe some kind of a de-icer, salt, something like that just in case. So, all right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all again on Wednesday. Take care and God bless. Bye.